Welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips, your go-to channel for all things health and wellness related. We're here to provide you with practical advice and insights to help you live your best life. Our mission is to empower you with the knowledge and tools you need to make informed decisions about your health. Now, let's dive straight into today's topic. We're going to discuss something that doesn't get as much attention as it should, but it's a common issue that can impact your health significantly. We're talking about candida and yeast. These microorganisms naturally exist in our bodies, but when they grow out of control, they can cause a myriad of health issues. But don't worry, we're not here to scare you. Instead, we're here to arm you with the knowledge to understand, manage, and even eradicate these pesky organisms from your body. So buckle up and get ready for a deep dive into the world of candida and yeast. Stay tuned to learn effective ways to rid your body of candida and yeast. Before we delve into eradicating candida and yeast, it's important to understand what they are and the role they play in our body. Candida is a type of yeast, a small fungus that lives in our mouth and intestines. Its job is to aid digestion and nutrient absorption. However, when it's overproduced, it breaks down the wall of the intestine and penetrates the bloodstream, releasing toxic byproducts into the body. This can lead to many different health problems, from digestive issues to depression. Now let's talk about yeast. Yeast is a single-celled microorganism that's classified as a fungus, which includes more than 1,000 species that are currently identified. The most well-known species of yeast is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is used in baking and brewing. But not all yeast is beneficial. A yeast infection or candidiasis occurs when there's an overgrowth of the candida yeast in our bodies. This can happen for many reasons, like a diet high in sugar and refined carbs, high stress levels, or overuse of antibiotics, which kill off too many good bacteria in the body. The symptoms of candida and yeast overgrowth can vary from person to person and range from mild to severe. They include fatigue, digestive issues like bloating, constipation or diarrhea, recurring urinary tract or sinus infections, hormonal imbalances, joint pain, and skin and nail fungal infections. Furthermore, a candida overgrowth can also cause problems with your mood and mental health. You may experience irritability, mood swings, anxiety, or depression. Another risk associated with candida overgrowth is a weakened immune system. Candida releases toxins into your bloodstream, which can suppress your immune system and increase your susceptibility to other infections. It's important to remember that everyone's body is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. However, understanding what candida and yeast are and recognizing the symptoms of an overgrowth is the first step in taking control of your health. Now that we understand what we're dealing with, let's explore how to combat this issue. One of the most effective ways to combat candida and yeast overgrowth is through dietary changes. Let's take a closer look at this. Candida and yeast thrive on certain types of foods and understanding. This is the first step to controlling their growth in your body. Sugar, for instance, is a major culprit. It essentially feeds these microorganisms, triggering their multiplication. Likewise, processed foods packed with additives and devoid of nutrients create a conducive environment for candida and yeast to flourish. So what's the solution? While a critical part of this strategy is to reduce and ideally eliminate these harmful foods from your diet, it's not easy, especially considering the ubiquity of sugar and processed foods in our diets today. But the benefits are certainly worth it. But it's not just about eliminating certain foods. It's equally important to increase your intake of beneficial foods. High fiber foods, for instance, aid in digestion and help cleanse your system, reducing the chances of candida and yeast overgrowth. Think along the lines of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Next up are fermented foods. These are foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. They're rich in beneficial bacteria, which help balance the gut microbiota, keeping candida and yeast in check. Then there are foods rich in probiotics. Probiotics essentially introduce beneficial bacteria into your gut, which compete with candida and yeast for resources, thereby limiting their growth. Foods like yogurt, kefir, and other fermented foods are excellent sources of probiotics. Now, it's important to remember that dietary changes are not a magic bullet. They won't instantly eradicate candida and yeast from your body, but they're a powerful tool in your arsenal. And when combined with other strategies, they can subtly help control these microorganisms. So whether you're dealing with a candida or yeast issue or just looking to maintain a healthy gut, consider revisiting your diet. 
It's a simple yet powerful way to take control of your health. Implementing these dietary changes can go a long way in controlling candida and yeast overgrowth. In addition to diet, certain lifestyle changes and natural remedies can also help in eradicating candida and yeast. Let's delve into some of these. Firstly, let's talk about stress. It's a silent killer. It not only wreaks havoc on your emotional well-being but also disrupts the balance of good and bad bacteria in your body. This imbalance can lead to a yeast overgrowth. So reducing stress is paramount. This can be achieved by incorporating activities such as meditation, yoga, or even a simple walk in the park into your daily routine. Next up, we have sleep often overlooked. Getting enough sleep is vital for the body's healing process. It's during sleep that the body repairs itself and strengthens the immune system. A strong immune system is better equipped to keep candida growth in check. So ensure you're getting a good 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night. Maintaining a healthy weight is another significant lifestyle change. Overweight individuals tend to have higher levels of sugar in their bodies. Which yeast thrives on? Regular exercise, along with a balanced diet, can help you maintain a healthy weight and thus control yeast overgrowth. Moving on to natural remedies, probiotics play a crucial role. They're the good bacteria that keep your gut healthy and in balance. Regular intake of probiotics, whether through supplements or fermented foods, can help combat yeast. Lastly, antifungal herbs and oils can be beneficial. Herbs like oregano and garlic have potent antifungal properties that can help control candida growth. Similarly, oils like coconut and tea tree oil can be used topically to treat yeast infections. Remember, these changes in remedies don't offer an overnight solution. It's a gradual process and consistency is key. Your body took time to develop a yeast overgrowth. It will take time to restore the balance. Adopting these lifestyle changes and natural remedies can significantly aid in your fight against candida and yeast. While natural methods can be very effective, sometimes medical treatment is necessary to fully eradicate candida and yeast. Now let's delve into the world of medical treatments for these pesky fungi. One of the most common approaches is the use of antifungal medications. These can come in various forms, such as creams, ointments, tablets, and even injections. Some of these are available over the counter, while others may require a prescription. Among the most commonly prescribed antifungal medications are fluconazole and itraconazole. Fluconazole works by inhibiting the growth of yeast, while itraconazole targets a broader range of fungal infections. Both can be taken orally, making them a convenient option for many. In addition to antifungal medications, there are also antifungal supplements that can help in the fight against candida and yeast. These supplements often contain natural antifungal ingredients such as grapefruit seed extract, cathartic acid, and oregano oil. However, it's important to remember that while these treatments can be effective, they're not a magic bullet. They should be used in conjunction with the dietary and lifestyle changes we discussed earlier. It's all about creating a holistic approach to your health. So if you've been diligently following a candida eradicating diet, practicing healthy lifestyle habits, and using over-the-counter antifungal treatments, but you're still struggling with symptoms, it's time to seek professional help. Reaching out to a healthcare professional doesn't mean you failed. On the contrary, it's a smart move. They can provide a proper diagnosis, prescribe the right medication, and guide you through the treatment process. They might also refer you to a specialist such as a gastroenterologist or a dietitian for further assistance. Never underestimate the importance of professional help when dealing with health issues. It's not about self-reliance but about making use of all the resources available to you. Remember, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional if you're struggling with a persistent candida or yeast issue. Your health is worth that call. Now that we've covered the effective ways to eradicate candida and yeast from your body, Let's quickly recap the key points. We've learned that understanding candida and yeast is the first step towards a healthier body. It's crucial to know how these organisms function and the potential harm they can cause when left unchecked. We then explore dietary changes that can help in this battle. Consuming less sugar and more probiotics, for instance, can make a significant difference. Alongside diet, adopting certain lifestyle changes and natural remedies can further support your body's fight against candida and yeast. These might include regular exercise, adequate rest, and the use of essential oils with antifungal properties. 
Lastly, we discuss the importance of seeking professional help when needed medical treatments are available and they can be particularly useful when symptoms persist despite your best efforts. Thank you for tuning in to Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Remember to subscribe for more health and wellness advice. Stay healthy everyone.